Restriction Enzymes, Unleashing the Molecular Scissors In the realm of molecular biology, few tools have been as transformative and indispensable as restriction enzymes. These remarkable biomolecules, also known as restriction endonucleases, are the molecular scissors that play a pivotal role in genetic engineering, DNA analysis, and various other biotechnological applications. Discovered in the 1960s, restriction enzymes have revolutionized our ability to manipulate and study DNA, fundamentally altering the landscape of biological research and advancing fields from medicine to agriculture. Restriction enzymes were first discovered in the late 1960s by molecular biologists Werner Arbor, Daniel Nathans, and Hamilton O. Smith. Their initial observations of these enzymes in bacteria revealed an intriguing defense mechanism. Bacteria produce these enzymes as a means of protection against invading foreign DNA, such as that of bacteriophages, by cleaving the foreign DNA into smaller fragments. The mechanism of action of restriction enzymes is elegant in its simplicity. These enzymes recognize specific DNA sequences, known as recognition sites, which are typically palindromic sequences, sequences that read the same forwards and backwards. Once a restriction enzyme encounters its recognition site, it binds to the DNA and catalyzes the hydrolysis of the phosphodiester bonds in the sugar phosphate backbone, effectively cutting the DNA molecule into fragments. The ability to cut DNA at precise locations using restriction enzymes has transformed genetic engineering. By combining restriction enzymes with DNA ligases, scientists can insert or remove specific DNA fragments from an organism's genome. This process, known as DNA cloning, forms the foundation for gene manipulation. Researchers can insert genes of interest into plasmids, small circular DNA molecules, and then introduce these modified plasmids into host organisms, allowing for the expression of the inserted genes. In addition to genetic engineering, restriction enzymes have played a crucial role in DNA analysis and profiling. The technique of restriction fragment length polymorphism RFLP, relies on the variation in the sizes of DNA fragments resulting from the digestion of DNA with different restriction enzymes. This technique has been vital in forensic science, paternity testing, and studies of genetic diseases, enabling the comparison of DNA profiles for identification and analysis. Nature has evolved a vast array of restriction enzymes, each with its own specific recognition site. This diversity is a testament to the complex interplay between bacteria and their environment. Scientists have harnessed this natural diversity to develop a plethora of useful tools, such as isoschizomers, enzymes that recognize the same DNA sequence, and neoschizomers, enzymes that recognize similar but not identical sequences. These are expanding the range of applications in which restriction enzymes can be employed. While restriction enzymes have undoubtedly been a revolutionary tool, they are not without limitations. For instance, their recognition sites can be relatively short, leading to a limited number of target sites in a given DNA sequence. This can complicate the design and execution of certain genetic engineering strategies. However, advances in molecular biology have led to the development of more versatile techniques, such as site-directed mutagenesis and CRISPR-Cas9, which offer precise gene editing capabilities and overcome some of these limitations. In conclusion, restriction enzymes have profoundly impacted the field of molecular biology, enabling the manipulation and analysis of DNA with unprecedented precision. Their discovery and application have catalyzed advancements in genetic engineering, DNA analysis, and various biotechnological pursuits. As our understanding of genetics and molecular biology continues to evolve, so too will the ways in which restriction enzymes are utilized, paving the way for even greater breakthroughs in science and medicine. Thanks for watching this video. Remember to like and share our videos, and leave your comments below. We'd love to hear from you.